In this lecture, we'll learn how to do box and bubble plot and also pie chart. So let's start with our box plot. And we are still going to use those data sets that we have from the previous lecture. Now, when we come to box plot, we can do horizontal and then we can also do vertical. So let's start with vertical. Now for vertical, you can choose your X axis and then choose many Y or you can just choose the Y's and then the X will be assumed for you. So let's just go with many Y and then let's go with R1, R2, and R3 and hit finish. So you have your box port. Once you have this, it's still pretty basic. Now let's go to the graph properties. And in the graph properties, we can customize our graph as we've already done. We can also customize our axis. And then we can customize our plot. Now for the plot, we can go in for let's say the fail. And it's gray, but it's always nice to go for a color scheme let's go for party and you have a color scheme you can however come in and change any color that you want so just right click go to this color and let's say choose you can also come in and then adjust the colors so let's just come in color So you can change the colors as you need. And you can also change the path and edge colors. So you can also do that and change your patterns. And you can go into the end color and also change. And also play with the thickness, transparency, and then the gradient, the gradient angle of the pattern can also be changed and you can come to the bar width just as we did for the bar you can also change the bar width change the thickness so it's becoming slimmer or you can also make it much bigger and then you can make it thin or wide so you can choose whichever one that you need you can type let's say 70 so you can do that and then the word style can be uniform or variable so variable means you have like one slim one one big one so you can do that as well and then you can center it to the left to the right and the symbol so you can change the symbol type to let's say whatever that you want let's go for let's say diamond and then the symbols change and then you can change the fill color of the symbols and then the edge colors of the symbols transparency the thickness can also be changed and then the box option so we see the mean line if you want to show the mean line, I think this is median. So if you want to show the mean line, you have it. And then you can also show outlier. Or if you want to show the fit and 90 fit percentile. You can change the line type to say dash. And then change the color to maybe blue. And then add gap to it and all that so that is something that you can always do come in and customize your graph and you can also customize these error bars just right click and then you can customize them as well as we've already done so you can always come in and change stuff around as we've already shown change the color 
yeah so that is something pretty simple to do now once we have vertical you can also do horizontal which means the bars will be horizontal so that can also be done here so the next one is the pie chart so you can come to pie chart and for the pie chart you can select the column to plot by clicking the column in a worksheet so if you want to plot this you can just select or if you want to plot this you can select so let's say we want to plot this one now we have our pie and we can just come in and make this fun so let's double click to edit now you see that the options are limited because it's just a pie we can go to the graph and rename the title we can change the legion change the style as we've already done now you can also come to the plot if you want to modify you can go back and modify and then the data you can change some of them so let's say we want just five or you want to start from let's say something and then you can just change all of it and then the fill so the color scheme is quite dull so you can come to the color scheme and then from the color scheme you can go for let's say this one is okay let's go for royalty now we see the difference you can change the edge and then change the pattern you can go for hand color and then change the thickness a little bit if the end color is too dull you see red okay, it's too bright okay this this looks good and you can change the gradient change the transparency as well now you can also do pie slice so if you want to slice any section you can come in and just go to explode so you can go for single so now you've exploded one or you can choose two you can choose three you can choose four so you can explode whichever one that you want and then you can also change the orientation so now it's at zero when you change it you can change it to anywhere so that the pie goes around as well so that's how you customize your pie as well so the last one is the bubble plot and we can come back to our scatter side and then from the scatter let's go in and make a new graph page and then go to no so from here we want to go to bubble and then from bubble you have you can choose x y or y or single x so you can go with x y and for x y for x sorry let's go for one and then let's go for two and then the bubble size let's go for three so this is your bubble plot so it's kind of just like your scatter plot however because you chose bubble size that column that you chose will have let's say different sizes depending on on the different value of that row so let's say we go back let's say yeah we go back and let's just try and make this one and then go back to our plots now you see that this bubble has changed so if you want like 
different sizes for your plot you can use the bubble 